Hello and welcome to Portia Raw and Real. This is the podcast that you watch after you watch the epi- your favorite episodes of the Portia Show. Sometimes we take the conversation and keep it going on the podcast, Portia Raw and Real. So welcome. Uh, today we wanted to, and you know the concept here, we always pull in some of our favorite guests and keep the conversation going. And I can tell you with these three jokers, we had to keep it going for sure. This episode about what men are really thinking when it comes to marriage, it was a really great, really candid conversation. And um, I, let me just, we're gonna just dive right in. We've got Dr. Alduin Tart. He is a minister and a psychologist, relationship therapist, counselor, husband, father, uh, and loves, loves, loves the Lord and the institution of marriage and believes in advocating for both. And so we brought him back for this episode. And then you have Henry Coleman, comedian, yes. real funny fella, tells some really funny stories about his life as a single man on stage and on the show. And then we have Cecil Henry. Correct. Very good to meet you and to have you back. Thank you. Uh, twice divorced, right. long marriage, shorter right. marriage, right. no marriage now, one another marriage because you firmly believe right. this is you are a, a, a man is to be married. Correct. Tell me a little bit more about yourself for folks who did not get to see the show. If you did get to see the show, it's PortiaShow.com. We'll check that out. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'm Cecil Henry, um, 40, 53 years old, excuse me. Um, retired Army officer, 28 years of military service. And I thank you for right. your service. Thank you, thank right. you, thank yes, you. Right. Certainly thank you Respect. for your uh, service. And I'm also a SAG ATRA uh, qualified actor. Okay, gotcha. That means you got the card. Versatile. That means, yes, you got the card. You got the card. Take the dues. And um, <laughs> Henry. Tell me more about you. Uh, stand-up comedian, father, uncle, brother, cousin, okay. uh, community activist, uh, just an all-around good person. All-around good person. Yeah. All-around humble person, too. You'll very attractive man. You're about to figure this out very quickly. Most <laughs> <laughs> humble brother on the table, right? Yeah, right. Um, very attractive so man. listen, never marry, right? Never marry, never marry. And that is not by choice. You would like to be married. I would love to be married. married. You know, mm-hmm. I'm actively uh, looking for a wife. You know, I've dated a lot of marriage caliber women. It just never ended up going, you know, walking down the aisle. Why not? Um, the last... The have la- you proposed? Like, physically, like, with a ring, will you marry me? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't well, what in the... I, I whole haven't. entire... What did you say? I mean, I haven't gotten to that point, but I... Okay, so you have not... Okay, I thought you were like, you want to get married? Okay, me too. Yeah. But it wasn't like that. Mm-mm. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So you still would like to... I see myself being... I. I I, I, I believe I'm a husband, and I see myself as a husband, mm-hmm. and being uh, in a committed okay. marriage relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Dr. Chart, you've been married for many, many years. Yeah. And a father for yeah. a few years, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, what do you hear men saying about this commit- commitment to marriage? Because so many women are just, oh, men don't want to be married. I'm just going to be single the rest of my life, because there are no men out there who want to be married. And you say that is nothing is further from the truth. Right, right, because uh, first of all, we know how much social media and podcasts have influenced this generation. Yeah. And there is a absolute attack on the institution of marriage for African Americans. Mm-hmm. It, keeps, it keeps us at the lowest of the poverty range. Right. You look at our uh, Indian brothers and sisters, Asian brothers and sisters, even Caucasian brothers and sisters, marriage rates are elevated, wealth is elevated, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. so they can keep us separate right then we stay at the bottom so one we kind of have fed into that and then two happily married men are silent mm-hmm. in on social media right. you don't see right. them a lot of men don't really do social media anyway yeah and then a the happily married man they're they that's not they're not gonna really come on and, and talk about they might talk about how sorry dallas cowboys are <laughs> <laughs> talk about we were talking about like by the falcons grab two quarterbacks <laughs> but on. they're not gonna come on there and open up about their relationships right. like even, exactly. even, i do it but even i have to take shots oh he better be perfect i better not mm. see you at Krispy cream mm. talking to the chris cream lady right <laughs> better not right real, real, real. so right. so for those men are in record numbers according to the research. Like mm-hmm. when they look at uh, like date naps, uh, women will tell you they're outnumbered by men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and this is the most rejected generation of men in a very long time. When you mm-hmm. say the most rejected generation, meaning women are, well first of all, let me ask you this. Do you agree? I sort of agree. Why? Uh, because, you know, just based off personal experiences, um, and even myself, I've been on a dating app and, you know, 
you may meet someone, you may go out and have, you know, coffee, tea, or whatever the case may be, and, you know, they may look at you as pretty decent stock, but, you know, their idea is, oh, I can find something better. Mm. Mm. You agree? That was horrible. Uh, <laughs> the, the maybe I could do a little, a little better, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like women always kind of start, they go through phases of loneliness or whatever they're dealing with, mm -hmm. and they have a high tolerance with you coming to the table because they just <laughs> want somebody. And then after, wow. and then after like their initial needs get met or like the loneliness gets cured or whatever, whatever the, the, the first problems are get taken care of, then it's like they start changing up and start switching. What do you mean by that? The first problems are taken care of? Like you mean in terms of the needs? Like so you, you meet, we were talking about this to... earlier, like you meet a lady that might need some tires. She don't know she needs tires from her car or, yes. you know, she got lights out in the, or she can't get a, get her uh, fire extinguisher button to stop beeping. You know what I'm saying? But you wait come a to... second. <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> different, thing, a few Henry, different, different things men do. That's different. A right. woman who wants you for tasks and errands Mm -hmm. is not somebody that you were trying to marry, right? That's I a woman who hear, wants you for tasks and I hours. hear this right. almost every day from men. Right. I am so that sorry they feel, to hear that. Because they you're, feel... You're not th the handyman. Right, I think I think what, like with housewives and, and this... Uh, and I know, because I have to pay a handyman. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Be very yeah. clear. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you come into these spaces where they're, they're be you're being invited to these spaces, and you get into those spaces, and once they see the need diminish or the needs being filled, mm -hmm. then they're tolerant and, you know, willing to... So you to bought her tires, and then that was the end? I mean, it's not just buying tires. Like, you... I, I see... He, you um, know. I've, I've seen, and, I, and, and even though I'm off the dating scene, I've seen it to where a woman... You've seen it? I, where they, they'll, they'll be on but, social media and they'll say, I'm out eating dinner, but I don't even like them. Right? right? I'm just... I'm right. just I'm, that's not Listen, all women. At that's the not all women. It's sounding like the old auntie at the table. I am not inclined to follow women who are using right. that type of, because I right. think it is performative, and I think it is disturbing to objectify men into, I have a need that I'm gonna get met, so I'm gonna go out and eat with them because I'm hungry. So I, I know that that is happening, but mm -hmm. I, I would, I'd like to believe that the folks that I'm well, following But that need base, <sighs> that need based tolerance goes uh, past just the surface thing of like a dinner or mm -hmm. uh, tires. It goes to like companionship. Right. And them going, well, you know, uh, having a willingness at first, but after they no longer have that need, not having that tolerance mm -hmm. anymore. And so when does the, how does that go? Like, need, I mean, that's need, what a man need, to figure need, out. Need, need you gotta, you have to be able to figure it out or you'll be ambushed and surprised. If you, if you can't figure out when a woman's uh, desire start, starting to change, then, you know, you're gonna end up hurt. So mm -hmm. where does the love come in, though? Because we're talking about all of these tasks. You know what's funny? Is as that... opposed to the love that cultivate yeah. a relationship. You know what? Uh, or am I just being old-fashioned? No, 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 you know, no, no. Men, mm -hmm. men are surprised that they're the ones that have to bring up love, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Because yeah, what are you looking for in a man? Uh, six feet. Six feet, oh, yeah. <laughs> six pack. Right. Um, he needs to have this and this and that. And he'd be like, well, what, what about liking him? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 that too. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying this is negative. I'm saying this is what society has done. Yeah. And, and so from the from the research, what they found is that a lot of women are uh, dealing with cho too many choices on the apps, mm -hmm. right? They call it it's, it's that is... ch choice. So what they're doing is they're scrolling. <laughs> And they're scrolling for the top 5% men. Right. They're like, okay, cool, all right, let me keep going, let me see what I can have. It's like when you, you're scrolling on Netflix, yeah. you, you'll see a show. You're like, Less Maybe. options, you're like, cool, but if it's 90 that. shows. Yeah. 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 That, and so, they go, and so right. what they found in yeah. the research, they had an economist do a study, uh -huh. and they found that women were uh, all going towards the same 5% men on the app. Uh -huh. And what they're advising them to do is go back and choose the top third. Mm -hmm. That you missed really good men, mm -hmm. and it's ah. not it's not the women; it's the way the app is laid out. Right. It's okay. like on TV. If you had three good choices, cool, but if they give you forty choices of ketchup, you can be tasting ketchup all, <laughs> all day. night, right? Right. <laughs> right. And so they're saying the way it's laid out, men are not um, getting swiped. They said the the average man has to go through 21 something swipes to get one response back. That is so but crazy it, to me when you think club, about the statistics, especially yeah. in cities like Atlanta. Right. I have a question for you. Um, you hear this term wife material. Okay. Okay. Mm. What is wife uh, material? What does that mean to, to each of you? Ooh, for myself, you know, it, it goes back to the biblical context of having your help meet. 
uh-huh. so to speak. You know, someone that um, is going to help you shoulder the load when you need it. Uh, uh-huh. Someone that's going to be there to help uh, guide you because you know sometimes uh, we have to lean on each other. Of course, you of know, course. So that's that's what wife material means to myself. Henry, okay. uh, <clears throat> someone who's past the point of like clubbing and partying, that mm-hmm. are not really yeah. living in that, the vain the vain part of their life. Okay, uh, ready to settle down, ready to be a part of a family okay. and be a supporter. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, mm-hmm. which brings me to. A relationship that you had where things, uh, it, I don't think she was in a club. You couldn't find it in a club. <laughs> no. Bottle full of but nothing. How you know that song? I, what song is that? <laughs> That's a song? What you talking yeah. about, Willa? Uh, and you still ended up parting ways because you described her as a... Uh, a holy roly. A holy roly. I think she was a little bit more, a little bit more religiously in intent, you know, she was a little bit more religious than what she put on to be at first. Mm. So what was the dis- the time between I love God versus you Not describing Not I love God, but like, I love woman. God more, you know, so, so uh, I don't know how you say that. Well, for the record, I mean, are, we all kind of love God more than the people. Well, I, I mean, know, so least... I, so I'm, and every night I make drunk people laugh. Like that's yeah. my career, right. and that's a wonderful gift to have. Okay. By the mm-hmm. way, let's just be very clear. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, to make people laugh is truly a blessing. So yeah. when I when I meet someone who's spiritual, you know, or uh, like you go to church once or twice a week, that's got to be like a clear, you know, I don't want them to see me as a devil. Like me going and cursing in front of drunk people. A further, raise your hand if you think well, you some can people, believe in God and laugh at the same I, time. Oh. I don't. I, no, I don't. I don't believe that way. But you talking about church people? Yeah. Uh, I, and I'm in church. Yeah. Are the most judgmental. They, they, Come yes, on now. Yes. Yes. Not we all. Can mm. be. Right. I'm just saying. But so I can. St- I just feel like we're also not supposed to judge. So I don't right. see the judgment in a, a brother who makes his living making. People who are yeah. drunk laugh. I mean, I like and, and is, at first it wasn't a problem, but as the did like she a, cite that as the problem, or was that your perception? Oh, um, mm. ah. I can over a period of time there was like little hints, you know, after we went to church together or different little stuff. So you went to church with her? Yeah. So what was? I, the I mean, problem? she came to the club with me, so why would I go to the church right. with her? So I guess I'm still trying to figure out where where things <laughs> fall apart <laughs> when. I mean, if you if you're dealing with if, if you're in the world and you're dating somebody who's more religious you're you're in the you're, world that's so old school you're right, right. like it's a t- it's a tug of war like yeah. are you gonna be a church comedian or you know are you gonna start like like somebody's gonna win so yeah. do you feel like because i know comedians so they've been on this show griff who i mean you know there's mm-hmm. lots of folks yeah, yeah, who yeah, yeah. have yeah. a the church friendly act right I know. and then the act where it's you know it it's, is yeah. what it is every night right, right. Yeah, every night and you really feel like that's you're, you're penalized for that? Um, toward the end, as as we start to have kind of going back and forth, it was there was some language around, uh, you know, me, the sin of what I was doing mm. and how I talked and how I communicated. But you were a comedian when she when you met her. Yeah, so when, when, no when the need was high. When the when the need was high. When the tires needed to be. Re- mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Right. I'm sorry to hear that. How about for you? Mm. Any uh, inconsistencies? Yes, a lot of inconsistencies that I labeled diminishing returns. Oh, right. tell me more right. about you said know. diminishing returns. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it's like you mentioned, you know, hey, when that need was there, mm. hey, you know, could you change my cameras for me? The batteries are dead. So you, 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 you're feeling that, that need for them. Mm. And, you know, as those needs, like you said, have, have been met or being met, you know, it's it's to push away at this time. Can you <clears throat> not tell when that's coming? I mean, if it starts out with a bunch of a, a to-do list, isn't that a red flag? Don't it's not. It's, I've never had a woman give me an absolute mm-hmm. to, to-do list. I I've never met, met a woman who would admit a need. Right. Um, mm. But if you begin to care about somebody, you're going to right. you're yeah. going to just men just we just come into your life and fill those spaces and we don't say nothing. Right. When a woman buys you some shoes. When she's like, I see you need some shoes. It's a presentation. <laughs> that box, it's a box with a bow on it. Preach it, preach it. Did you see those shoes? I you, you, you need some shirts. Take it. I got you some shirts. It's a stack with a bow, and she's taking a picture. She wants you to hold those shirts up while she posts the picture. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we just do. We just refrigerator's empty. Right. We just put food in it. Right. We don't pat ourselves on the back for the stuff we come into a woman's life to do. Yeah. We just do it, yeah. and then then it's like, and then women they also want you to explain to them. Right. You know, right. if you want credit, well, then tell me what you did. Like, oh, so. 
do it. You'll see right. when, I'm, when I'm not doing it no more. You'll see. Right, right. Okay, right. Okay. Right. 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 Men's number one complaint is lack of appreciation. That's right. Mary really? and mm -hmm. men just want to, like, if you fill the tank up for your wife. Babe, thanks for filling up my tank. Yeah. I appreciate it. I know, I know you didn't have to do that, but you always keep me. Uh, thanks for telling me that my tires are low. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I mm -hmm. appreciate you. I don't even know anything about it, right? Mm -hmm. So men, men do need, that's how we're sensitive, we do need appreciation. We don't need a long speech, mm. but just I appreciate you taking my mom to the doctor, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. I know yeah. I couldn't carry her. Yeah. I appreciate you stopping your day and doing that's all men, that's all men right. want. Um, at this season, right, of um, more established in your career, mm -hmm. established gentlemen, as opposed to the 20-somethings who, you know, still trying to figure it out, um, what kind of conversations do you end up having with gentlemen who are, you know, sincere about wanting to be in a relationship and, and what the men need to perhaps do differently. Is right. it discernment? Well, is it, it prioritizing? This is not what's going to happen? Well, I see, I see one, the dilemma around money. Like, we, mm -hmm. we um, I think, we put too much value. We talk about women, but mm -hmm. then we also put a high pressure on ourselves I to need provide to be in a certain place. at some crazy level a lot of times like yeah. and it doesn't matter how affluent the man is a lot of times he's going to the next level to the next level um so one and i think that there are a lot of single men who would actually be better off saying i'm good partnering with a sister mm -hmm. and then they would actually grow mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but i think sometimes we will have we want to say i want to be way up here so i can present this great package to this woman mm -hmm. where, the, where the woman was like i was i'm cool i'm cool here versus waiting for you to get here. I don't have this Housewives right. of Atlanta type yeah. reality. Yeah. I mean, that's cool and everything, but I'm not one of them. I'm looking for a brother who's ambitious. Who, that's what I hear from women. I just want a brother who's ambitious and consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My job as a woman is to take every area of this brother and improve it anyway. Yeah. His health, he gonna, they, they gonna see, well, you brother got married. Because benefits. Yeah. yeah. I think women like, and I'm gonna I think women like, trying uh, failures. Okay. I what think does that, that mean? I think they prefer men who try but don't succeed. Why do you think that? Because I think a lot yeah, of women are afraid of the success mm -hmm. and the attention that comes with success. Mm -hmm. So they'd rather for you to be trying real hard to do more but just never get into that place so they don't have to compete with what they imagine they would have to compete with if you did succeed. You agree? Mm -hmm. Sort of, sort of kind of, but you know, for me it's like, Females love a challenge, you know. Hey, I, I, I'm gonna fix him, mm -hmm. you know. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, we are, we are the, we are fixed. Right, that's true. That's right, true. right. I yeah. see a brother that's broken. I'm trying to fix him. I'm, right. I'm trying to make him a better. Well, don't we better do the same thing though? Yeah, yeah I was do. gonna say, yeah. yeah. And it may not be with a bunch of words. It's the actions, right? Exactly. And we, we trying to fix you with. Okay, I, let's keep talking I, about. I'll, it. I'll just testify, like one of the because of what I do. Y'all may be similar. I would attract early on women who needed help, but mm. I was unaware of it because right. my, oh. my number one self characteristic is a helper, mm -hmm. a healer. I got you, right? Mm -hmm. I used to joke people, if you don't crack, that's all right, I got a degree, we can get you on substance abuse, you'll be fine. Yeah. But what I realized was a pattern of mm -hmm. dating women who needed help, but when it was time for them to either help me mm. or to be a healer mm. or be a voice of reason, mm -hmm. they were unable, and I never actually looked for that. Mm -hmm. So wow. when I was looking for, for my wife, first thing I would ask, I was assessing, mm -hmm. um, are you a helper anyway? Like mm -hmm. when she what? said that she, her best friend was her grandma, and I watch family reunion, I see her jumping in, playing the family reunion, and when I see her be mother hen to her girlfriends, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. watching, I see her know her word and already know how to pray. Right. I was like, this is a woman who's an asset. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So yeah. I can be an asset and, and come back versus... Do you guys do that? They not do you my, my question is, how do you, <clears throat> how do you gauge uh, stamina? How do you gauge uh, tolerance over time? Uh, I think the, a lot of the lessons that I learned, I just had to, it was just, just time lessons. Just like, you just got to be around somebody and just... Because they'll say one thing at first and then, you know, that, that changes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, another question for you. Um, and pardon the candor and direct approach here, but rotation or monogamy? <laughs> Rotation, of rotation meaning you, you have, rotate you through different dates, women. and and mm -hmm. you have you you don't mind dating a few different women to sort of narrow down, or you one at a time. Oh, this isn't working. One at a time, this isn't working. I'm more of the monogamous guy. Yeah. Right. right. So you don't date one woman. No, 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 no. I don't mean throughout. I'm talking about if you beat one, one woman on a date. Right. You just gonna laser in on. Well, her. I. 
My thing is, for the time being, mm -hmm. until things until it becomes clear. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that is that weird? No, no every man is different. That's why I'm glad I'm you're like, doing it. No, I, 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 I'm gonna date as many women what? as I possibly can until I like one. Uh -huh. And then when I like one, but then I'm eliminated. But how do you figure out if you like one if you rotating <laughs> through a bunch of them? How, how I'm gonna know who I like unless I date more than one person? Right. But how do you know if you like them if you going on a bunch of dates with one I as think opposed first, first to date of all, after first, date after date with the one? First of all, I, I think that women are should rotate me too. Mm. Okay. Right? Because if you don't know what you, I want you to know what you, what you like. Right. All right? Instead, mm -hmm. of, instead of being trying to put me in a box that you want me to be because you're not dating. If you're dating, and I don't mean like... Lying. I mean, I'm right, talking about right, going right. on first and second yeah. dates with. Well, Just I'm not out. talking about okay. you know monogamy. I'm monogamy. A, I'm a one on one. You do not do the rotation. Mm -hmm. no, let me okay. be clear. I'm not talking about when I'm in a relationship. I'm <laughs> oh, I know. We all know. No, I see them laughing. I see them laughing. No, no. no. I'm just talking, uh, and, and I'll, I'll take the hit here. Like, when I was I dating, I was like, dating a lot of. I don't. I mean, I say, a lot, how am I going? to... Okay, if I go on date number one, and I wanted to get married really badly. I yeah. I love being married, so I was like, I don't want to be single, right? Mm -hmm. So let me date. Until I find the one, and once I find the okay, one, okay. So let me ask you this: it. before we run out of time, and don't forget your question, but I'm gonna <clears> forget <throat> mine because I didn't take my privilege. What? <laughs> how many dates did you go on after you met the beautiful Mecca Tart? Before you were like, okay, all the rest of y'all, this is not gonna work. I've locked in. I think maybe one. You went one date, and you were. So that's and, you the know, point. and that was a final date. That was like I, I don't, I don't. Oh, that was I, a this yeah, is a breakup. Yeah, but, but you think that but when she walked in, I knew she was the one. Mm -hmm. But before her, and then Mecca too, both of us were dating. Mm -hmm. like when I asked she was available on Tuesday, she said no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So I was like, well, I need to knock these brothers out of the box. Right. Mm -hmm. I ex we expect a really great woman to have multiple options. S yeah. say, say I'm not dating anyone, Portia. Keep it real. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean, I'm not dating anyone. What's the first thing you think? <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Is he gay? Right? Right, right, right. You're going to ask, because we expect a really great person, whether is it's real or not, to have, have options. options. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. With, with me, the thing is, uh, because I make people laugh every day, every night, I can't be sad. So I do. Oh, that's not fair. Of course you sad. can't, I can't be, sad. be sad. So I can't be sad. Tell because, me you can be sad. No, that's I can't be sad thing. simply because you don't love me no more. So mm. um, I do have, I might be dating one person, but I do have a lot of, Emotional rain checks out there. Yeah. What? I just got triggered. Emotional rain check? Just, you know, people just like everybody got, I got several layers of backups. Who chow? <laughs> See, I'm going to give you the final word. You get the I'm final sorry. word. Before oh, you no, no. I get, what, I, get, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. Right. I can't just because. Are you, you talking about career wise? Yeah. He's saying career wise, he can't go on stage like a pastor. You don't want to hear a pastor crying. I you don't want to hear a comedian you. say, y'all, okay. I know y'all came for jokes, but let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were saying? Thank no, you I get for it. rolling Ooh, that back. I get it. Because okay. it was about to come. <laughs> She's about I to get you. I get it. No, I, you so know, the, 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 like, like um, comedians actually have the, one of the highest depression rates because yeah. when they're yeah. on stage, no one cares about how yeah. you feel. For real. Just, just, just make don't exist better. and make me laugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like me. Yeah. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Grace Given, table back Thank down on the Appreciate floor. It. Listen, gentlemen, again, you I wish you could... You don't want to have crying. You can't <laughs> no, have crying all right. You got to keep smiling. You got to keep making us laugh. Uh, gentlemen, again, thank you so much. This okay. was so much fun, and I really, 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 really sincerely learned a lot, and I really have to go back and think about some things that some uh, ladies I know might be doing <laughs> who are still single. So, uh, Dr. Tart, please just quickly tell folks where they can find you. Okay. Uh, if, if you're married, uh, weekendforlove.com. We have mm -hmm. a marriage retreat, mm -hmm. and then you can go to my website, drtart.com, with Henry. two Ts. Uh, Henry Coleman, Insta uh, Instagram, henry.coleman.7. Or YouTube or Facebook. You from Chicago? Me uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Seven seven three three. Yeah, that's right. 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 See, I'm Henry zero one at Instagram or Cecil Mike Henry Facebook. Listen, don't slide into the DMs. Slide into the DMs. Please slide in, slide in the DMs. Slide Sincere DMs. inquiries <laughs> only. No <laughs> foolishness. All right, gentlemen. Okay. I thank you so much thank for your thank time. You. Thank, thank you for you. watching uh, and listening to another episode of Porsche Raw and Real. We'll see you next time on Porsche.